So this is Nine Penguin Place Tregear. This is uh, where little Johnny cut his teeth. Um, Penguin Place for me was like the best street in the world and the reason for that is it's a cul-de-sac. So you know you could play your touch footy and your cricket and all the things you love to do which is what I um, was very fond of doing. Memories for my local a uh, little athletics club, Nepean Little Athletics, and being an Australian champion at under 12s um, was, you know, what I what I loved to do. So running was a massive passion in my uh, life. And when I got a little bit older, I'd run out of here, run down the bottom, run up the street, um, right down to the back there, do a do a 5k run. And I thought, imagine running around and getting paid to do it. We were introduced to rugby league. Um, my big dream was maybe one day I can run on to Penrith Park playing first grade. That was a very big dream for someone who grew up in this street. Uh, so fast forward time, I, uh, I played SG ball, which is under 16s back in the day, Jersey flag under 18s, and then I got graded for Penrith when I was 19. 25 years ago, he was an up and coming footy player, but while on a training ride, a truck smashed into him, leaving John paralysed from the waist down. Came back to live here for about 12 months after my accident. So that's when it all changed all over again and therefore, okay, acceptance to the wheelchair and acceptance to the fact that that's going to be my life and what would that then look like? Well, that opened the door to the Nepean Triathlon. That was the one I was training for when I had my accident. And I went back as a wheelchair athlete, which then led on to the Hawaiian Ironman and led on to a whole bunch of stuff after that. But even he couldn't imagine the transformation that lay ahead. Learning to get out of a wheelchair and take some steps after 25 years, that was a, a, a massive challenge, but a, also an equally massive dream that I had for, I held onto for a really long time. And um, then I got some access to some technology out of the military, leg brace technology. And my dream has not changed since then, and the dream is to run again. So, I mean, that's a massive dream for anyone to uh, undertake, but that's my dream. Um, I'm very grateful for having the opportunity to walk and take steps again, and I was very, very honoured that you know, in 2014 I went back to finish what I started, which was the triathlon that I was training for. I crossed the line with um, my wife and son. I'm really proud to grow up here in this, uh, in this house, in this street, in this area of the Greater West. And I think it's fantastic to finally have an event that's going to be West focused, that the people of, uh, of the West can focus on and get out of their house and get active. So I think it's awesome, well overdue, and I can't wait to be a part of it and encourage people uh, of the West to participate.